My safe word is pineapple juice. <laughs> He's strong. Hold up. Where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna go? Get on the ground, bro! Why are you coming? Why are you coming? Don't be... Get out of your stomach! Hey, bro! You know, we're playing this game, bro! Stop now! Stop now! Hey! Move your hand! Stop! Stop right now! What's up guys, I'm Patty Mayo. Welcome to the hunt. Today we are hunting Bo. Bo has a failure to appear, but before we get into that, I want to give a shout out to all you fantastic people that keep this show going by buying merch. If you want some merch like this fine hoodie I'm wearing right here, and a shout out, click that link in the description. Giving a shout out to Tasteful Chub, Tony Maldonado, Ricardo Diaz bought merch from Patty Mayo, sub to him, Emily, April and Jonathan, Shiloh, Please give some love to Jason, my BF in the Navy, your girl Jenna. Boston is the best, Brittany. Instagram at D2I Driven to Inspire. Jay's Bitch, 2012 Nissan Frontier. Hot Lips Harris, I love you, Jaden. Pikachu! 2012 Nissan Frontier again. C Ray USBP, C Bosch, Kaylee Shike, and Jazzy Fizzle. Thank you guys for buying merch. If you want some merch and a shout out of your very own, click that link in the description. This video brought to you by the very exciting mobile game Vikings. In a pretty cool fact, there are 10 times more Vikings players today than actual Vikings that ever lived. That's over 20 million players for the mobile game. Vikings is the perfect mix of 3D graphics and smooth gameplay, plus massive online battles that will get you hooked from literally five minutes of playing. It's the first strategy RPG game filled with detailed ancient Vikings open world. You can also find me in the game by the name Patty Mayo, so don't waste time. Install Vikings right now using the links below, and you will get 200 gold, a protection shield, and your place in Valhalla for free. So make sure you check out Vikings, link in the description. And now, on to the hunt. All right, so we, we are working our way through this property. Thankfully, it's just one road. I think we've been driving down it for literally a mile now. Apparently at some point I'm gonna see a, a house which is supposed to be his buddy's house and then we go from there. But right now we are just uh, trying to find it. I see there's a white building up here and then through the bushes actually I see a little blue thing. Obviously my biggest concern here is uh, weapons. We are in the middle of nowhere. This is a big property. So you see the private drive, no public access, you know. So they, they are up here for a reason because they don't want people messing with them. All right, so it looks like the property continues down left. So what I'm gonna do is... This looks like the main house. So we'll start, we'll start here and then work our way to these other properties. I thought I heard running, but I think it's that dog. Let's check this and then we'll check that house. Watch out for all the dog shit. This is the back of the property here. I feel like if he was here, that dog would have alerted him by now and he would be in the same place.
I'm gonna look through the windows and we're not we're not gonna make an entry to this place right now. We're gonna call for backup. Hi buddy. Stop. Relax. Stop. Okay. I don't see anybody in there. Anybody back here, make yourself known! I see, stop! Someone's running. Bail bond, stop! Let me see your hands! Who's this guy right here? Who's on that tractor? Someone just ran up through here somewhere. I thought you were a nice one. Do you see someone run up here a second ago? Where? In the ambulance. In the ambulance? Yeah. You guys live on this property? Where do you where are you guys living? Right You're back there? there? Yeah. Stay behind me. Bail bonds, I know you're inside this ambulance. Let me see your hands. All right, all right. Let me see your hands. Stop! Don't move. Walk over here slowly. Walk. What's your name? Bo. Okay, Bo. It's Patrick. It's bail bonds. You have a warrant for your arrest. A warrant? Step out here. Walk slowly out here. No, put your hands above your head. Keep them above your head. Turn around. Face away from me. Okay, walk backwards. Take it slow. Walk backwards. Go down on your knees. Cross your left ankle over your right ankle. Okay, put your hands down in front of you. Put them on the ground in front of you. Walk your hands down and go straight on your stomach. Flatten your stomach. Okay, put your hands out to your left and right. Straight out, just like an airplane. Cross your ankles. Bring them up to your butt. Stay just like that, okay? What's all this for? Okay, I'll tell you in one second. Stay just like that, you understand? Yes. Stay just like that, brother. I don't even know what, who you are. Okay, give me your left hand. Give me your right hand. Man. Relax. All right, Bob, my name's Patrick. I'm with Bell Bonds. You have a warrant for your arrest for failure to appear to court. I'm sure you don't understand what that's about. Yeah, I didn't know I had a court date. Okay, you didn't know you had a court date because when you got bonded out, it was made very, very apparent to you. We've been trying to contact you for several weeks. No one's been able to get a hold of you. I had to track you down. To four or five different people, what's going on? Why are you avoiding us? I don't want to go back to jail. Okay, so you do know you missed your court date. Well, I know you, I know I got bailed out. Yeah. You have anything on he's gonna poke me, stick me, or stab me? No, sir. Okay, roll on your side for me. Stay right there. I think I got my phone in my pocket. Put it right here, you get all your property back. Is that why you ran? When, I, when you saw me show up here? Yeah, I don't wanna go back to jail. Where were you when I pulled up? 
right there by the shop. Okay. I heard the dogs barking. Okay. Roll on the other side for me. You be cool with me, I'll be cool with you, alright? Yep. Not a big deal. Get your wallet out of your back pocket and put it in mine. Okay. So what gives you the authority to become a sheriff or whatever to come and arrest me? Uh, I'm a bounty hunter and I'm employed by the bail bondsman that bailed you out. Yeah. Okay, so when you don't show up to court, I have the authority to go arrest you. We have a 1300 arrest warrant. If you want to see it, you can see it when we get back to the truck or we get down to the jail. Okay. Okay, roll on this side here. Knees up to your chest. Okay, I'm gonna roll you onto your knees, just like this. I'm gonna roll you right on your knees, okay? All right. Okay, stay right there. Okay, I'm gonna help you stand up, all right? Stand up. You fix my glasses for me. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, walk back this way. So the court gave you authority to come and arrest me? Yes, sir. So now will I get be able to be bailed out it? Yes, sir. As soon as we get back down to the jail, you're going to get rebooked and reprocessed. What that's going to do is going to alleviate the bail bonds company from having any liability with your existing bond. Because what happens is, when you don't show up to court and it goes past summary judgment, the bail bonds company is on the hook to the court for the entire amount of your bond. So we bailed you out, you paid 10% of that bond, but the bond company would have to pay 100% of it, okay? So what's gonna happen now, we're gonna bring you back down, we're gonna get released off that bond, you're gonna get a new court date, it'll be issued to you today, okay. we'll be able to get you on a new bond, and if the bail bondsman wants to rebond you, he'll be able to, but it's at, that's at his discretion. He, well, he, he's not gonna rebond, bail bond me after a Missed my court date last time, is he? <clears throat> That's not necessarily true. It happens all the time. We understand people they don't show up, don't show up to court for a number of different reasons, but it's really based on how you act from here forward. That's going to turn whether or not you're going to get a new bond. With this running bullshit, I'll be honest with you. With this running bullshit and having us have to track you down real hard, took two or three weeks to find you. Not a good chance of getting bonded back up by this company. You may be able to find another company to bond you out, but with your with your behavior and your your pattern here. I, I don't see it very likely, so to be I'm honest. You're going to have to sit in jail. Yes, sir. Until, you, until your court date is, is, is very likely. It's not impossible that you get back out, but it's not likely that you get released based on what, we, what happened today. If you had answered your phone, if you had missed court and you answered your phone, you I said, don't hey. Have service up here. Okay, well, if you contacted the bail bondsman, you yeah. could have driven down there, you could have gotten a ride down there, you could have walked down somewhere, right? Right. Had you made communication with him, that would have been a different story. Hey, I know I didn't show up to court. What do I got to do? You got to pay for it one way or the other. Right. Today or tomorrow, right? Yep. So you might as well be today, right? Yep. Be free tomorrow. So stand up in the back of my truck. I'm just going to check you one last time here. I've got something in my front pocket. What do you have in your front pocket? I don't know what it is, but there, right there I think there is something. Okay. Yeah, I feel it. You don't know what it is? Well, I, I think maybe a lighter. It feels like two things. Okay. Get a couple layers. So I got these. I'm put in my pocket. It'll go into your property. So what about my dog that's here and stuff? Where are you staying? I'm staying with my friend here. That's at your friend's I'm, house? Are these, yeah. are these your dogs or his dogs? One of them's my dog. The other's his dog. Okay. Your dog doesn't have to stay here. Obviously, we can't take your dogs with us. That's what we can do. We can you stay at your friend's house. You let my friend know what's going on? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I can make contact with him. You have his phone number? In my phone. In, okay. okay. You have all the numbers you need in your phone? Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else you need at this house before we take off? I get no. your phone and I get your wallet? That's all. Okay. If you need anything else, I can always come back up here and get it from you from your friend, all right? Okay. Is your friend going to be friendly with me? Yes. Okay. Yeah, he don't... He, he don't mess around? Well, yeah, he don't He don't know nothing about my court date. Okay. I have a bail bond, so... Yeah, okay. He's, you know, it's probably going to surprise him because I haven't been in a lot of trouble in the past. Okay. You know so he's, he's not up to date on what's going on with you then? No, I really didn't tell him about missing the court date. Okay. All right. And you just didn't show up to court because you're scared to go back to jail? You're sc I'm scared to go back to jail, and, and I don't have a place to live. I'm homeless, so being clear out here, I just knew that I could just kind of be a hillbilly and not really hide out, but okay. be kind of hide out, just not bother anybody. What are you worried about sentencing? Yeah. How long are you looking at? I don't know for sure. I think maybe 13 months. Okay. That's not too bad. Well, it's bad enough. I know. It's, it's, it's not good, right? 
Right. But we gotta we gotta pay for our, you know, for our, the things we've done at some point in our lives, and okay. you know, try to make better decisions going forward, and you won't have this problem. When we get to jail, you'll have my phone. Can yeah. make a phone call and, and call his dad or mm -hmm. something. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. I'll help you out. Okay. I don't appreciate you running, but I do appreciate you giving up on me and not uh, coming out with a gun or something, you know? Oh, no. So we can work with that. Like I said, I'll put you a good know, word in for you. Running is almost a, a natural thing, just, you know, out of I understand. Fear. It is. It's an instinct. We all you have know, it. once you say, I know you're up by the ambulance, I wanted to come out, but, man, my heart was beating so hard, I, I just I was shaking. Mm -hmm. I understand. Just be honest with me. You be cool with me. You act like this. I'll put in a good word for you. Thank you. All right? I'll do my best to get you back out. Like I said, no promise. I don't own the bail bonds company, right. so I can't ride the bond myself, but I'll do the best I can. Okay. Okay? You want to see your dog right here before you go? Yeah, or? can I? Yeah. I'm not going to open the door because you're in handcuffs and that dog will eat me. That's fine. He's <laughs> my dog, but the other guy's dog is pretty mean. Which one is yours? The white one or the... Brown, uh, brown one. Okay. He, he looked a little bit friendlier. Yeah, his name's Buddy. Okay, yeah, the white one looks like he wanted to eat me. My friend wasn't here. No, his no. cars are here. Yeah, I didn't see anybody else here unless he he's... He might be down at his dad's. Okay, unless someone's hiding else. Someone else is hiding. Is anybody else supposed to be here? No, just him, me and him. Hey, buddy. Dad's going to come back. Hey, Nakia. Nakia, get back. I love you, buddy. I love you. Dad will be back. As long as you don't break through that glass. No, he won't. Ooh, boy. This dog scared me, I'll be honest. If you were hiding in there, you actually might have got away. <laughs> I haven't had very good luck lately. That dog yeah. brought in that motorcycle in that doghouse right there I had for him. And it, oh, I no! In, I was in a fire a couple months ago, and that's why I'm homeless and I'm up here. Oh, really? You know, not to give you a sympathy story. No, but, let me see what, what happened. Tell me what happened. Oh, I had a real nice motorcycle, and this is the doghouse I made. The um, little step pulled down. It was really cool. Well, my motorhome, I was going to light the furnace on it, Yeah. and, and it blew up on me. And they life lighted me to the burn channel center for 48, two months. Oh, no shit. Yeah, and, and, and that's cowboy uh, took took my dog for me. It burnt my dog house and the motorcycle to the ground. No shit. But it was a Willie Knight thing. It, it was all lit up. But your dog was okay? Yeah, yeah. Where, where'd you get burned? All over on my head, my arms, my hands. Okay, yeah, I can see your head there. Yeah, I was on artificial life support first. Really? Yeah, they induced a coma. You know, not, not sympathy, but that's why I'm up here and just try and stay away from everybody. No, I understand. Just, you know, that just kind of, you know, kind of almost give up and then, you know, you pull through something like that. I don't want to go back into things that were in my past. Right, right. So you it know, kind of gave like a new, a new, new outlook on life after that happened. A near death experience. Okay. All right. I'm sorry that happened to you, brother. Yeah, like I, I said, I understand, I understand why you ran. Um, I'm sympathetic to your situation. I know you're not, you know, it's not what you're asking for, but you know, I, 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 I feel for you. I ran because, you know, I, I just got done being gone for almost three months because of the fire thing. I've only been back for a month with my dog. Yeah. And just to be away from people and my friend and his dad, nice enough to, yeah, you know, I, I, it's kind of embarrassing. It'll hurt my feelings for them to know that, you know, that... That I know I that I, that I was hiding up here underneath them, you know. Yeah. Because I would, I, I, well, I wouldn't do something like I'm that. I'm sure they're not. I mean, I'm sure they're not going to judge you. You know, if they're good people and they're, they're your not, friends, they won't judge you. Okay. Um, all right. With that in mind, let's um. Let me have you have a seat back here, okay? Okay. I'm going to uh, make a call to the bail bonds company. Okay. Here, turn around. Have a seat right here. Oh, okay. Do you have any injuries that's going to prevent you from getting up there? A little bit, maybe. A little bit? Yeah. Okay. Well, I can just hop yeah, up and yep. sit down right there. We support you. Okay. I'll sit right there. I won't even close the door on you. Okay, just hang, you. The, hang your legs out there real quick. Let me make a call to them. Don't run on me again. I won't. Okay? I promise. I'm All right. Cuffs, eh? yeah. All right. Let me talk to him real quick. Um, let me see what the extent, what we can do that way you find out more information here before we get down to the jail. Thank you. We'll try to take care as much as we can. Thank you, because at the jail, sometimes they just go at their own leisure and you, you take forever. They, exactly. They're just there to do their job. Yeah. Where, um, what was your situation at the time of your court date? I just, you know, to be up here and so far away from, I, I don't have no... But you, you, you're out of the hospital at that point? Yeah, I'm out of the hospital okay. at that point. Okay, but were you medically disabled in any way? Anything that, like, medically prevented you from being able to go to court? Anything I could take yeah, to him yeah, to say? Yeah, for, for at least the first month. I mean, I, I couldn't even... But, just until about two weeks ago, uh, was I able to just care for myself. Okay. You know, to get fully dressed and everything. I, I, I can't, my hands don't work. Um, every Tuesday and Thursday, I go to physical therapy. Okay. Regardless of your feelings at the time, at the time of your court date, you still were immobile by yourself. So you still had a medical reason why you couldn't show up to court. 
Yes. Yeah, okay. Correct. So maybe we can sum this up to if I talk to Dr. The Bill Bonds, Dr. The Court. Hey, maybe we can sum this to a medical. If you give me, I, I got, I got proof. I, you know, I whatever okay. you need to do, you can you talk get... to their dad and know that I've only been here three weeks. Okay. All right. If he's able to obtain proof that you're medically disabled at the time of your court date, we can get removed off the bond without having to bring you back down and get you a new court date without having you to have to go down to the jail at all. Really? He has to obtain proof first, okay? So I told him the hospital that you went to and told the name of the physical therapy office that you told me, yep. okay? He's gonna contact them right now okay. and he's gonna make sure that your story checks out. E e even the, the ride program? Mm -hmm. CERT, it's called CERT, mm -hmm. the ride program right there. Okay. They're the ones that reimburse me. They know about all my medical, they know about my medical transport okay. and, and my gas, if I've had two of my appointments and everything. Okay. Sir, so I, I, I'm telling you, I'm not going to run from you again. I, I, I can promise on my heart, especially for maybe not have to go to jail. Okay. But I'll work with you. So here's what's going to happen. I, I, I got Is, pretty bad burns on my wrist. Could you just take the cuffs off and yeah. put them in the front? Yeah, absolutely. Here, sit up. I'm actually going to get these off you completely, can all right? Can you just take my gloves off, too? You can take them off. Put this hand just right, right on top of your head for me, okay? Thank you. I'm just going to take these off for you completely, okay? Because we're going to try to get your, we're going to try to get your exonerated off this bond. Thank you. Okay? And then, um, obviously, if I have to take you down to jail, I won't even put you in handcuffs to bring you down there, okay? Thank you. Just relax. You want to take your gloves off? Yeah, Let me see. I... Can I see your hands? Do you take your gloves off so I can see your hands? So your hands got burned pretty bad. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Okay. I was on fire for almost three minutes. Can I take off my coat for a second? Yeah. Let's um. I ain't bullshitting you. That's no, I I don't think you are, I brother. Don't, that's why I was gonna tell you all this stuff for sympathy, but. Oh wow. Oh yeah. I, I can't make up this. Oh shit. Okay. All right. Yeah, you're. See. You can see where my skin was hanging down from me and stuff. I was on fire for a while. When I, so you got stuck in, did you get stuck inside your motorhome or just when it, when it blew up on you? I was in the little hallway mm -hmm. and my dog was on his bed and, and I was laying there and it's underneath my bed and I had the finger on the pilot light and then I hit the igniter and it just blew up right in my face. Oh shit, okay. Lucky, lucky you still have your eyesight. Yeah. yeah You're very lucky. lucky. Yeah. Lucky. Well, I mean, I, I mean they, they called my family and told me you better come because they didn't think I was going to make it. But yeah. And that's why I'm saying for right now, for my mobility and my mm -hmm. functioning and me and the physical therapy lady, I'm doing pretty good. Okay. Know. Well, he's calling right now. He's going to check your story out. Like I said, if the story checks out with the hospital, he's able to confirm the dates and he's going to confirm the dates of the physical therapy when you started going there. Yeah. That'll be enough proof for the court and according to him. I'm being honest with you now. Okay. Really. And he'll, he'll, he'll find out the honest truth when okay. he makes those phone calls. Okay. There's me at the burn center. Jesus. Hey, there's my motorcycle in the doghouse. When it blew the tires off my motorcycle, it blew it clear up in the air, but it couldn't fall over because the hitch in the doghouse is right there. No shit. Oh, wow. Yeah, it burnt my head. Yeah, they had me on life support. The motorcycle and doghouse, that was everything I had. That's Man, you got lucky, dog. brother. You got real lucky. Yeah, I had that had that motorcycle for 10 years. And you've been through hell and back in the last couple well, I'm months. I'm just saying. Literally, you've been through hell and back. That's fire. So, Man. You know, you Walk know. away with your life, though. And your dog, so. Yep. I'll let him know. Thanks, brother. Yeah, you too. All right, bye. Ugh. All right. By way of miracle, you're all set. Huh? You're all set. He called sorry. the. He sorry. Co sorry, I ran for it. It's okay, brother. I appreciate it. Hey. Take care of yourself, all right? Thank you very much. Listen. So here's what's going on. Here, grab your, grab your, grab your belongings. Here's what's going on. He contacted the hospital. And he contacted, they wouldn't tell him anything because of HIPAA laws. Okay. Um, but he contacted uh, someone he knew at the hospital uh, and told him the situation, told they him that you're... About me. Yeah, they told him that, hey, listen, his freedom is relying on, you know, us being able to verify this information. You can pick yourself up. Um, so, you're not cleared with the court yet. No, I got okay, to Okay, so you, you still have an active warrant. Okay. However, you have an active warrant for the failure to appear. But he's going to clear that up in the next couple of days. He talk, he's he's going to talk to the court. He's going to he's, he has he has to submit all the proof. So he's got to build a file. He's got to go. Get, he's got to get the documents from the from the uh, from the hospital. He's going to get the documents from the okay. physical therapy and all that stuff. He's going to sum, create a file for you. He'll submit that to the court. We'll get exonerated off the bond. We'll create a new bond. It will mail either a will mail you the paperwork or b he's going to have some. You're going to be here, I assume, right? Yeah, I'm going to be. Okay, here. I told him this is where you're staying That's and where this is where I'm you're going to live. Yep. Okay, so he's going to have the paperwork delivered to you one way or the other. Okay. okay, but it's just gonna take a couple days for him to get that. But you're all set. Don't worry about us. So We're what, not gonna come get you. So what I'm saying is, when I go to town Tuesday and Thursday, my main concern is I wasn't even thinking about you guys coming up to my house. Mm -hmm. 
I was thinking about just getting pulled over for we're, we're going to contact we're going to contact the police department. We're going to contact everybody. Okay. And wait to at the, least wait wait to hear from the bail bonds company. Yeah. Call them and and check up and see if, if it's all been removed. Okay. And you'll know. Maybe if you want to wait to leave the property just to be safe. Yeah. Because I wouldn't go into sheriff or a state police officer could take me to jail. Yeah, and he won't have the and, same. And he, and he don't even know you. Yeah. Okay. okay. So to stay with, just, so to avoid that situation, yep. what I recommend stay here. Yep. Couple days. Wait to hear from the bail bonds company or contact them tomorrow. Contact them the next day. It should only take two days max to get this paper, but it's a Saturday. Okay. So right. give it, give it to so Saturday, Monday. Give it to Monday or Tuesday. Okay. Call them. Say, hey, is it all cleared up? If it's all cleared up, you're free. You know, go into town, take care of your stuff. Thank you, because it would have been a three-day weekend, President's Day, and just yeah. sit in jail. Oh, that's right. To sit in jail for yeah, three yeah. days. Yeah. No. All right, guys. So uh, that's a, I think a happy ending to the story. It started off with I thought I was going to get eaten by a pit bull. And uh, it started, it ended with, um, you know, I think we have a good ending here. So remember, we catch a new fugitive almost every day. I'm Patty Mayo. We'll see you next time. You know what? I'm hungry after that, though. I want to... He's not going to let that dog out, is he? He's going to kill me. Are you guys still filming me? It's kind of weird, don't right, you think? We're kind of hungry too. Can you do my? Yeah, whoa, whoa! It's bail bonds Come only. On. Come on! Yeah, you got a license for that? Hey, let me tell you something about these fries. To the rhythm.